Hi, I'm Jonathan Bricklin, and this is Table Talk. I am here with Arpana, and Correct. Arpana is, thank you, um, is an incredible, as we can see, jewelry designer. Um, but you're also a photographer? No. Model? Uh, Some, a little bit? Kind of. Actress? In sometimes. the making, in the making, for sure. And then finally, also a ping pong player. Yes, the undiscovered world champion. Yeah. I just never had the, actually had the opportunity to, but I would. I know. have had that ambition yeah. and I've, I've now lost it. I thought honestly it was a chance <laughs> that I was gonna be world champion like yeah. 10 years ago. Real quickly, as a background, where, mm. where did you grow up? I was born and raised in Kathmandu, Nepal. I lived there all my life up until I was 24 and I was traveling back and forth between New York and Kathmandu in my early 20s, spending wow. majority of my time back home. Wow. And um, I came here for art school. I went to Cooper Union for painting and sculpture. Before that, I was studying music. I was terribly shy. So I, I figured I had to take a step back and figure out what I wanted to do in life. Long story short, um, I became a jewelry designer while I was in school, had a small company while I was already graduating, did jewelry design. I'm still doing it now, but um, I'm also studying acting. And I feel like in some ways, my life is sort of coming to a full circle because I feel like I needed a theater uh -huh. to show my very talents because I have so many, clearly. Yeah. So I feel like acting sort of brings it all together. And, and of course, ping pong because it's part of what I aspire to do in films as well. Well, thank you for tying yeah, in ping course, pong. Of appreciate course, appreciate that. No. I actually picked up ping pong when I was in, I think I was in the sixth grade or seventh grade and I really loved it because first of all, it felt really fair. The fact that you have a net in between, you know, uh -huh. the two people. It's a, makes... I think of it like a line in the sand. Like it's yeah. very it's democratic. Fair. Yeah. I'm starting to draw parallels between say for example, acting or music and ping pong, especially acting because if you are really in your head, you're sort of done. Yeah. Of course there is a strategy and of course you have to prepare for what's coming, but you have to be at, in that you moment. You have to be present. You, you have, have to be, be present. really present. And I love the quick back and forth that goes on because it simultaneously can also feel like a dance. Yeah, yeah. it totally is a dance. Yeah. Yeah. Your jewelry is incredible. Real okay. quickly before we get to our, our questions, um, where do you draw inspiration from to, to create your right. jewelry? So, um, I think as with everything, I'm starting to put like pieces together for where my love for jewelry actually started. And I think it stems from my childhood, seeing like my mom and my aunts and everybody else around me like decked in jewelry. That they made or that they bought? Uh, that they bought. Yeah. Uh, nobody in my family or within my immediate family was actually a designer. So there's a lot of gold and like traditional jewelry is like a huge part of our culture. I love it. Can you play ping pong with your jewelry on? Yeah. You can? I think so. This is kind of a true story. I mean, this is not kind of, oh, cool. this is a true story. Okay. When I was in this, I think I was in seventh or eighth grade, I forget, around that time, I was playing ping pong so much, I started getting noticed by my school sports teacher. I don't scouted. know. Scouted, you were getting scouted. I was getting, I was getting, I was getting, <laughs> I was getting scouted. And this is in Nepal? This or? is in Nepal. Okay. And then I started um, playing in inter-school competitions. Uh -huh. The spirit was undefeatable, the game, Maybe not. But you had quite. talent as a kid. They saw something in They you. saw something and they were like, here's this kid who's never gonna maybe give up just because she's just gonna keep playing this game no matter how hard she's getting slammed. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I had, I had, I had, um, oh my God, I forget what his position is. He was the junior national team coach and he asked me to come for a tryout. And I am not kidding you. I was so happy about it, but I was also a kid and so stupid about it. I felt so proud and I never showed up. Really? Yeah. Not Were you me. nervous maybe? I have no I idea. I might have been nervous. I think I was nervous. I'm like, oh my God, I just did so badly, but I don't know what this person sees in me. And they're like, do you want to try it? And I was a kid. I was a kid just, you know, I looked You were like probably me. so talented that your whole life would have gone a different direction and you would have been that pro ping pong player. Yeah, and you- And you were scared of that. You're like, I, I'm gonna this be- This interview would be totally different. Yeah. Yeah, it would be a completely different thing. You'd introduce me as the world champion, the Olympics, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, but I'm happy where I am at. Okay, so do you have a favorite body? This could be for yourself or mm -hmm. on other people. A favorite part of the body, a favorite organ of your body, um, and or a personality trait. I think my favorite personality trait might be that I am really into ping pong. Um, <laughs> Wait, when you meet someone, if, if you come, if you discover that you both like ping pong, you, do you take them more seriously? Or I you, get very you, excited. You like them? Yeah, I, I love them. Uh, Wait, my favorite part, my, my favorite organ, 
My favorite organ, oh my God. <sighs> Wait, are eyes organs? No. Yeah, totally. I, I mean, I would consider it eye. I don't know if it's technically an organ, but I, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's the in favorite the, part right. of my body might be like the slope of like my nose. Really? Like side profile, like you can see. It's a pretty good, it's like it's a ski, good profile. You can ski down on it, yeah. It's the after yeah. photo yeah, at yeah. the rhinoplasty yeah, yeah. office. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I mean, the natural, I mean, hey, the natural the, version the, the, of the it. The natural right there, yeah. Okay, I have more questions to ask you. I need to consult sure. my phone here. Um, all right. This is a question that uh, reflects my personality. So if you could have a superpower and your choices were invisibility, flying, you could just fly anywhere, or you could be a world champion ping pong player and never have to practice. Wow. Do I have to pick the three or? You can pick a different superpower I'd altogether. Like to, I'd like to teleport so I can play ping pong wherever I want. Yeah? Yeah. Teleportation power? Teleportation, I'm gonna teleport to all the best stadiums everywhere and just play ping. I wanna teleport around the world and play ping pong in every single continent or as many places as I can. That would be cool. Yeah. Did you, in Nepal, there's famous photographs that I've always thought were famous of young kids playing with a brick net <laughs> on like a concrete table. Did I, you ever play like that? I did. You when did? I when I was in school, we actually had a concrete concrete table, you know, and the size is all kind of weird. The uh, way the ball bounces is also totally yeah, weird. Yeah, totally. Um, and you have to get used to that. Having a net like that was a luxury, oftentimes because kids don't really take care of things very well. Yeah. But also because it really was a luxury. So we'd either have, um, yeah, we'd have bricks because I felt like the, yeah, the, the, the size is actually kind of like pretty. Well, when it hits the brick, it, it's like it you get rejected, yeah. like, you know. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, it's, right, it's mean, it's kind of cruel yeah, almost. Bad. Yeah. But, but it makes you not hit the net, that teaches you. Also, but it also makes you appreciate something like this a lot more when you have the opportunity to. Do you, is there someone on this planet that inspires you more than anybody else? Like that you just really are inspired by? I really, really, really respect Jane Goodall. And I really respect, um, hmm, this is gonna sound weird, the Dalai Lama. But I really do respect Those Jane. Those are good ones. Yeah, I, I, I you, really, you, you I'm really this? inspired by them as people because I think, um, you know, the little that I know about life, I feel like peace of mind is probably the most important thing next to ping pong. So what else is there? If you yeah, don't have it's peace like of mind? if you if you're happy and if you can play ping pong for the rest of your life, you're set. Well, thank you so much for this uh, conversation with you. How much can I express myself? On the table? Yeah. Please don't okay, hold just, back, okay. but short serve short. Okay, got it. <sighs> okay. Those are like the luckiest shots I've ever had. Oh, shit. All right, your point. Okay, where did it go? Got it. One, one to two. I just don't think I have the right shoes on, you know? Okay, ready? Ready. Oh, it's like it's this one. It okay, has... two, two. My your... serve. Okay. Okay, this I'm out is, of breath. This is exhausting. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> whew, a lot of, a lot um, of like, like room to cover. All right, so whoever so, wins this point wins. You can serve, or you want me to serve? I want you to serve. Okay. Um, this is like not like professional enough. Okay, so uh, winner take all. Oh my god. Here we go. Okay, Ready? let's do this. God damn it. Put a little spin in there. Oh my god! I can't believe I didn't do this right. Ah! Oh.